Right. So we have to do to um talk about the Timberwolves. Um we like sports. All of us here, we like sports. People who are watching these videos, um I just have like 13 viewers so far, but I'm gonna keep going at it. We like sports. We are sports fans. And I think I want to do a video based on the Timberwolves. I feel the Timberwolves got next. They got next. And something really bad happened in the playoffs and they didn't make it true. But let's talk about why, why, exactly why they didn't make it true. So let's go. So we remember the big celebration. <laughs> we remember the big, I mean, Twitter was going crazy. LeBron was going crazy. Um, Kuzma was like, that's the NBA Finals. Remember Patrick Beverly jumping up and showing his jersey in the stands. And we, be, I mean, the day after, everybody was like, Tim Wolves going to beat Grizzlies. And and um, and um, Kendrick Perkins was like, you got to keep Patrick Beverly is praise. Patrick Beverly brought his team true. Patch Beverly is a true leader. We have to give Patch Beverly his flowers. And then Wiles on first thing first, um, I think Timberwolves will win. And who said all the hype? Why did let me ask you a question? Why Timberwolves did not live up to the hype? Because all the hype came and it was over in six games. It was over in six games. And it was one of the most embarrassing playoff series you have ever seen. It was one of the most craziest. It's, it's like watching two, like, I said that kids just play basketball. It was crazy. It was, it wasn't right. It, it just wasn't right. You know, it just wasn't right. I mean, Tim Wolves had games where they were up 26 points. They came back and they got up 26 points, 26 points again, twice in one game. I was still going to make a losing game by 12 points. You, you know, Tim Wolves have games where they were up 84-74, and in the fourth quarter, they, they allowed 40 points in the fourth quarter. Timberwolves broke down. They broke down. And that, that just reality of the situation. And, and let's talk about some players, because the video today, I'm not, I don't want to do a player stats, really. But Let's talk about some players and let's see players and how they perform. Anthony Edwards, he averaged 25 points, 25.2, 25.2 points a game, 4.2 rebounds a game, 3 assists a game, 1.2 steals, 1.2 blocks. Now, I have no problem with the points. Because I have no problem with the points. But Anthony Edwards, he's 20 years of age. He's, he has legs. He has the motor. Anthony Edwards should have at least be averaging 10 rebugs a game, 12 rebugs a game, 15 rebugs a game. And no problem with the assists, no problem with steals. But he should at least be averaging three blocks a game. Let's talk about my guy. Yes, huh? Cat. Let's talk about Cat. Cat averaged 21 points, 21.8 points to be exact. I don't want nobody telling me that I'm not quoting stats properly. 21.8 points exact. 10.8 rebounds. 2.2 steals, M um, assists, 
zero point seven steals, two blocks, two blocks. That that's poor from Cat. Cat had to average at least five blocks a game. That's a tower. And the tower come and give us twenty one points, twenty one points. And then you you saw game game four where he came out about um um they got me angry and I was angry. I was I was I was laughing my be on be honest, be honest, be honest. You guys were jumping up and down laughing. And he was trying to mean Morgan. Also angry, also also angry. Cat. You won the game by one point. One nineteen, one eighteen. You give up a double digit lead. Cat, please. No one else feed you. You win. No one if Cat had average thirty five points. And and that's what Cat's stat line should have been. Thirty five points. Thirty five points. 15 boards, 25 points, 15 boards, six assists, right? He could have zero steals so I like here. Five blocks. You tell me Timbo's won't be in, Timbo's would be up on Golden State right now. Timbo's would have been dominating Golden State right now. Zero. The Angelo Russell. The Angelo Russell. I remember the Angelo Russell played these guys in the regular season and put 37 on them. 37 on them. He averaged 12 points. 12 points. 2.5 rebounds. Not wrong with that. Not wrong with that. 2.5 rebounds. Not wrong with that. Not wrong with that. He's a point guard. 6.7. 6.7. I, I, you got guys like. Anthony Edwards and Cat, you should be averaging 10, 10 rebounds, 10 rebounds, 10 rebounds. Sorry, 10 assists. You should be averaging 10 assists. 10 assists. And then the amount of box out and heavy defense these guys give you, you should at least have at least, he had 1.5 steals. He should have at least had three steals. Three steals a game, zero blocks, no problem with that. Now oh, here's this guy now, Patrick Beverly. Patrick Beverly. Patrick, the so-called savior, the so-called give flowers to this guy. So-called 11 points. 11 points per game. Three bones. Okay, no power with that. Five assists. Five assists. So-called best defender, so-called good defender, 1.2 steals a game, 1.2 blocks. Patrick, that's Patrick Beverly, you know. Um, you know, um, the the others. I mean, let's not focus on them. The old players, they did their job. They did their job. Um, they played. Um, the others just wasn't there. Um. And that's all the stats. And these guys could have performed way better. But, but, the childish playing. Every time these guys scored, they were celebrated. Every time these guys scored, passive everyone was like, you're too small. You're too small. You're too small. Every time these guys scored, it's like, it's a celebration. You're too small. Every time these guys scored, it was like, it was like, we here, we here, we here. No, you're not here. No, you're not here. <sighs> that was the first song. That was the first song. This guy is scoring two points, or, 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 you know, 26 points up, and they can't box for the game. And they're like, um, you know, he tried to, nobody is scared of you, nobody, yo, yo, bro, 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 I wish, 
watch. If I was a coach, I'd give you one more to box your face and tell you watch. Go and try to give me a board, eh? Go and try to give me a board. Box out somebody and give me a three box. Come on, man. Come on, man. And this was the biggest problem of the month. The only reason why the Timberwolves did not progress to the second round the only reason why the team was in progress is second round. The only reason I made the solace out right now, Patrick Beverly. Patrick Flipping Beverly. This guy is selfish. This guy is arrogant. He's not a leader. The only reason he's a veteran is because he reach he patch each each 30. The only reason that Patrick Beverly is a veteran is because he patch he passed each 30. Sorry for the super player. I just, I'm just kind of angry. Patrick Beverly was the core of everything wrong with the Timberwolves. Patrick Beverly was the reason why the Timberwolves are out of the playoffs. Patrick Beverly was the problem. Patrick Beverly was the problem. Now, this video is not only about the problem. So now that we 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 found the problems, um, how do we create this solution? We have to create this solution because it, 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 it's not just about giving the problem and okay we have a problem and, and that's it. No, you have to actually come up with a solution. So I have two solutions here for you that may be beautiful, that may be brilliant, that may be what listen to. Two solutions, two solutions. Please bear with me. So the first solution, kick that fool out. Kick Patrick Beverly to the curve. Say, no, no, bye-bye. Bye-bye, loser. All right. Keep your cool. Keep your three guys. Keep Dilo, keep Towns, click, keep Edwards, keep these guys. These guys got next. These guys got next. On paper, they got next. Trust me, on paper, they got next. So you gotta keep these guys. So that's the first solution. That's the first solution. Second solution. Don't get vexed with me, people. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Would Rajan Rondo? Would Rajan Wando have his team? Even if, if, if Wando was on the bench and his team was up 25 points, 26 points, you telling me this team would have forfeit that lead? 25 points, 26 points? No, no, no. He's a leader on and off the court. He's a veteran, a true veteran, a student of the game. Always looking to learn more. Always looking to get better. Always looking to prove people wrong. He has a chip on his back. Rondo would do miracles with this team. The first time Rondo stepped in a Lakers uniform, I played that first game with Lakers. The young kids on the ground. They were on the ground. One of them fell, I think it was um um I think it was hot. I think it was hot or uh, um Lonzo. No. Hot or Kuzma, I think it was Kuzma. And and he he tried to pick himself up. You know? He he picked himself up, he got up. I don't say, hey, hey, kid, hey, guess what? Where you go, where you go on that ground? And you go on that ground because you sacrifice yourself for the team? Stay down and let your teammate pull you up. Stay down and let your teammate pull you up. That's true leadership. He will advise you. Anthony Edwards, don't need to hear you. And he said every minute, oh my God, you, you, you could be the greatest ever. You could be just a Jordan. No, not every minute. He, he doesn't need to hear that. 
We know he could be great. God never will tell him, guess what? I know you could be great. Let me let me show you how to be how to get there. I know your potential. We know the end goal. We know what you could be. But let me show you how to get there. Orlando will be one of the best things ever, ever for this team. Trust me, this team, they can actually make the conference finals next year if they get Rajan Rondo. Trust me, trust me, they can. All right, the next one, you guys will laugh me, but please, please listen up. The next one, the next one. Hear me out. Hear me out, people. Hear me. People just hear me out. Hear me out. When LeBron is out of a contract, right? And when LeBron is, is out of his contract, Anthony Edwards will be 21 years old. Cat will be 27. Cat, who, tell me a big man that could shoot the tree as Cat. Not Anthony Davis can see fit. Anthony Davis cannot see fit. Tell me a big man that could shoot the tree as Cat. He'll be 27 years old. Be a little older. A little older. D'Angelo Russell. Will be 26 years old. And then you have that next boy. No, trust me. Our next skill one. You have um Gerard. I think Gerard. Gerard will be 23 years old. And they have some young young players here. I mean, the oldest player. I mean, they only have two players over the age of 30. And no players over the age of 28. They have a pretty young team here. And they have a good team. Now hear me out. LeBron James has to watch and understand what Chris Paul did for Suns. Why Chris Paul did not leave Suns and come and play with LeBron James? Because Chris Paul has a good team in Suns. Chris Paul is doing magical things in Suns. Phenomenal things in Suns. Great things in Suns. Spectacular things in Suns. Suns may go to the uh, next NBA Finals because trust me, if Warriors beat the Grizzlies, I think Warriors right now, I think they're up. I'm not sure, but they, they, I think they're up. If Warriors beat the Grizzlies, they ain't passing the Suns. They ain't passing the Suns. I'm telling you now. And yes, Luca and him get a little thing yesterday, but don't worry about that. Sun's going to up. 3-1. 3-1 next, um, tomorrow. Mark my words. LeBron James has to see what, what you have CP3 doing there. And LeBron James has to say, okay, that's my legacy. Let's go and play for legacy now. You take a young team and you have everything you need there. You don't have to defend. You could just go and stand up. Stand up. Just go and stand up on the corner every time. You don't have to defend. And Lakers ain't going no way. So guess what? Stay Lakers, beat Kyle Maker, and then guess what? After you beat Kyle Maker, everybody going to be out to you. The media will write papers about you. Start para, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, guess what? I'm going to team. I'm going to Minnesota. I'm going where nobody wants to go. I'm going to win. I am 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 going to win. Minnesota, two wins back to back. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. He has four now. He will go to Minnesota. He will win three wings back to back. Because you know why? Because Cat got next. Because Dilo got next. 
because nobody can guard that ant. I don't know why they have to stop calling him ant, man, because nobody can guard him. All LeBron has to be is to be the best passer in the world. The best passer of the basketball we know he can be. And these two, Rajan Rondo and LeBron James, could go to Minnesota and they can win three rings. Three rings. Because guess what? Um, so next year, Kat will be. Kat will be. Um, okay, so say Kat, Kat is. Um, yes, yeah, so next year, he starting the next season. He will, he will be 27 starting the next season. So 27. You got 28, so you win the ring at 27, because the start of next season, he will be 26, right? So he'll turn 27 in the next season. Okay, so, so say he will be 28. He'll be 28 when LeBron gets there. He'll be 28. So he'll be 28. Um, Edwards will be 22. Dilo will be 27. So guess what? Cut 31. Cat 31, Edwards 25, Russell, Russell, Edwards 25, Cat, Edwards 25, Cat 31, right? And I have Russell, Russell will be, if my maths is correct, Russell will be 30, right? 30. They have two rings. And, and and these guys will be their prime. Shoes and they will be their prime. The next destination for LeBron James, if he wants to secure his legacy for being the greatest ever to do it. At the age of 40, 41, right? At the age of 41, right? 41, I think 41, maybe, maybe two, for 42, 42, I think 42. Sorry, my sorry about that. Age of 42, he has to go and play with his son. Whoever drafts his son, no problem. They'll draft his son. They say, Lebron, come and play. Come and play with us. You may not win anything, but guess what? Guess what? You may enjoy yourself. I will sell tickets. Oh, he a rich boy could, could, could tell him that anybody who draft, anybody who draft this young man, he ain't playing for them. He's rich enough to not play. He will not play. And Tim Moe's drafty man, <sighs> Minnesota is a quiet place. He's a quiet place. He's a quiet place. Is Siberia in NBA. You bring rings to a place that that could not win, cannot win. That's your legacy, and 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 trust me, that's 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 the main thing about it. Sleep sports today. That that's the main thing. I think that Tim O's got next. I think that in order to get next, that they have to get these these one of these two players or all both of them. Roger Rondo, LeBron James, please, please tell me if I'm wrong. Please tell me if I'm foolish. Please tell me if I'm crazy. Or tell me if my logic has not gotten true to you. Please tell me. Please tell me. All right? Yeah. Now, if you know, then you already did. And if you did, then you already knew. Peace out, love.